In the first part of this lecture, we are going to explore the meaning of the word systems. Psychology and other fields of study, like biology and history, are systems of thought. A system is a framework or organized set of ideas, theories, models, or approaches. The various components of a system work together to make it function, and a single change to one part of the system can change the whole system. Here are some examples. The family unit is a system of people and their relationships and interactions with one another. Governments are systems of representatives, rules, and procedures. And interstates are physical systems of roads, ramps, and signs. It's important for us to recognize that a system is influenced by the context within which it exists. Historians of psychology must consider the cultural, social, economic, political, and intellectual context in which significant contributions and events occur. Thus, psychology is a product of the different systems that existed at various times in history. For example, the belief systems of ancient philosophers and early physiologists impacted the field's development. This figure depicts psychology as a system. As you can see here, the field's history is just one part of the system. It also includes the goals of psychology, to describe, explain, predict, and control, as well as the concepts that fit within it, human behavior, and mental processes. We could add the subfields or subsystems of psychology to this illustration.